Look at this, there's 3,932 subscribers in my trading group and we're killing it. I got a few shout outs to give on my trading group. This person stated, signed up for VIP Elite, took your suggestion, I doubled my money in less than a week. This person, I'm up $58,000 in 10 days. Chris, thanks a lot for everything. I'm three or four months in the group. I've turned $4,000 into 65 grand. 65 G's out of 4,000. That's more than 10X, he more than 10X his money in the group. This person, I'm up 10, thousand dollars in the last week i've got a cryptocurrency trading group i've got six chat groups where he's calling out breakouts posts and charts working together to trade this market i've got 41 videos in a playlist if you don't know anything about trading at all nothing you can watch these videos you'll be making profitable trades number one reason why people join my trading group is i post profitable trading setups every single day and we've been killing it if you guys want to join the cryptocurrency trading group, you want to pay in crypto, email me, cryptobitcoinchris at gmail.com. I'll get you set up and in the group today. You pay for six months in crypto, you get a 20% discount. You pay for the year in crypto, you get an additional month for free and a 30% discount. If you do want to pay with a card month to month on a monthly basis, you can do so. There's a Patreon link that's in the description. This is Tezos up 72%. You can see here's the setup posted. Here's 52% out of link. Again, bought the breakout down here. Here's the setup. Here's Ethereum, 57% gains out of Ethereum. Here's the setup. Bitcoin at cash broke out 60% gain to over time. I want to thank everybody for watching Crypto Revolution, where I talk about everything crypto daily. Before we jump into this video, I want to ask you guys to smash the like button. If you came into cryptocurrency to make life-changing money, I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna keep you updated daily with the news that moves the markets. Bitcoin technical analysis, altcoin setups to help you make some profits. Jumping right into the market today in crypto. Bitcoin rolling over. This is a weekly chart. Previously, there was a weekly close above 11,500. Now, Bitcoin's fell down to 11,200. There's a support level there. But again, we talked about previously about how it was touching the upper Bollinger Band. And when you do see these touches the upper Bollinger Band, typically you get a pullback. Possible bearish divergence. If this gets confirmed, that would mean a, a pretty decent size move to the downside. It's occurring right now on the histogram or possible on the histogram. RSI, again, was overbought. So again, a retrace is completely normal. I woke up this morning, looked at Bitcoin, and I said, man, ugh, the lower trend line needs to hold here. I mean, it really looks like it came up and, and this was a bearish retest based on this volume that shows the breakdown here, right? So I put the targets in place or the support levels in place and just thinking like, Ugh, Bitcoin doesn't look amazing. Bitcoin broke to the downside. This is a four hour Bitcoin chart. Now it's actually broke below the 200 simple. The measured move of this uh, break to the downside is 10,500. So will that hold? Will we run down? There's this possible scammy wick down. There's a CME Bitcoin futures gap around 96 to 9900. You see the volume here. You've got you've got downside breakout volume, right? So again, confirmation has already occurred. Measured move, technical analysis just tells us it's this distance, the uh, distance of the the height of the pattern. Uh, it's, so you basically, you move it over here and you take this measurement. So again, Bitcoin pulling back. I got some amazing shout outs to give in my trading group. Life changing money is happening. This person said my portfolio was down $25,000 because I lost a lot of Bitcoin when the March crash happened. Trying to catch the bottom leverage trading, lost over two Bitcoin. Since July 21st, I've made back my losses since I joined your group, even a couple thousand more. I never expected it to come back so quick. This stuff drives me you know, to see people, how many people in crypto are actually down right now? How many people have taken losses? Like, let me work with you. Let me help you. Person reached out, hit 100% gains on both Lend and Qtum setups. This person, this was previous now, XLM had about 292% profits in XLM USDT. This person stated solid group. I've been here since we had 30 people. I think we just hit 4,000 today. I've made hundreds of thousands of dollars since the bear market. This group will make you money. Bring on the bull market. Life-changing money again.
The game changes when you know what you're doing, period. I don't care. Just remember, in life, if you're not doing something, you're doing nothing. Polka dot. Polka dot just got listed on Kraken. It's ready to make a splash. And so polka dot, again, this is a new coin that's been added to Binance. I had a setup for this. It's up 30%, but you can see polka dot's been up. Uh, I missed a lot of this move, but caught this move here. So again, still 30% gains out of polka dot. And I even stated, hey, here's the setup, by the way, posted on the 22nd of August. Had a person reach out to me and said, I sold dot for 20% gains in just two days. Thank you. Uh, so in, in group, I made this statement, watch DOT, focus on these ideas. And I've talked to you guys about this. New coins on Binance. Anything new on Binance has been pumping. If it pulls back a ton, it's still going to pump, right? So find your entry, draw your patterns, new coins on Binance. Focus on those DeFi, anything DeFi is moving. And then coins with a lot of news have been hot. Main nets, test nets, hard forks, etc. So focus on those. Like these older coins that don't have a bunch of development going on, like they got to do something. They got to pull something out of a hat because I'm telling you they're just going to fade away. 99% of these crypto projects will fail. Go look, go four years ago, look at coin market cap and see how many coins you've never even heard of that were in the top 20. Top 20. But yeah, Bitcoin starts rolling over and all of a sudden you see all these sell orders coming in. Uh, EOS, 73 Bitcoin sold. 6.7 million USDT in three minutes. TRX, 2.7 million. ADA, 126 Bitcoin sold in nine minutes. XRP, XLM, ETC, Dash, TRX, Ethereum Classic. Ethereum, 71 million. So remember, this is not necessarily a bunch of people sitting there like hitting that sell button, hitting that sell button. They have stop losses in place, right? You get these cascading stop losses, right? Essentially rolling over and everybody's getting stopped out. So it's important to kind of use all the ideas that you have in this market to put together a strategy that works. Again, as soon as you see these, these altcoins selling off, you know that Bitcoin's pulling back. I mean, just think about it. What is the value? What's the value to know when Bitcoin's going to retrace? That's what technical analysis has done for me. Like, it's not perfect, but I'll tell you what, it increases the probability of success tremendously. The number of Bitcoin accumulation addresses, whales are accumulating. There's currently 500,000 Bitcoin accumulation addresses. This is about 2.6 million Bitcoin total, 14% of the circulating supply. These are, they've had two incoming transactions. They've never spent their Bitcoin. They've been active for seven, over the last seven years and exchanges and miners are excluded from this. So again, this is whales. This is really just regular holders as well. Fetch AI. We've been talking about Fetch AI. Time for another preview of our upcoming commodities platform, Metalex. It's almost ready for launch. FET, artificial intelligence, blockchain, and DeFi. Perfect combination for epic upside for FET. RSR got added to Binance. And again, the key here is focus on this idea. Look, no market cap, no market cap. DOT, polka dot, added to Binance recently, up 28%. Bitcoin is rolling over, Bitcoin's dumping, and these coins are holding on. They're holding strong. I'm telling you, new coins on Binance. If you guys do not have a Binance account set up right now, make sure and go make one. There's a link to Binance International in the description. Use it. If you're in the United States, you have to sign up for Pure VPN, use Pure VPN. With Binance, you're good. Again, Binance, you got the lowest fees out of any exchange that exists, the most liquidity, the most coins, the best volume. This is a Bitcoin CME futures chart. And it's important to know that we've got this CME gap down here that these don't always get filled, but 99% of the time they do. Okay. And so there's, there's some support levels that are important. You know, you at 11,200, you, you've got some support here, here, uh, at about 10,900, there's support. There's more support at about 10,500. So there's a ways to go. I mean, this doesn't necessarily have to be this epic drop, right? But a lot of people are talking about this possibly as a self-fulfilling prophecy. So again, if this 
11,200 doesn't hold, you're looking for like level by level, right? And it could be a slow type steady fall, which would technically be good for the alt BTC pairs. Now looking for some type of short-term bounce based on the idea that your RSI is pegged way oversold, you know? So some type of bounce, you have possible bullish divergence. And again, it would be, you know, some type of smaller bounce. If, if, you, if you come back up here and you retest this pattern, and, and you start to move lower, expect more downside. That's a bearish sell signal, okay? It's a bearish retest. So just understand that as a possibility going forward with Bitcoin. Doc, okay, Bitcoin's rolling over. Here it is, Bitcoin's rolling over. Doc, the coins, this is Doc BTC. The coins that are strong with news are hanging in there right now, you know? So it's a good way to kind of judge if you, if you go look at coin market cap right now and you look at all the red coins, right, make a list of all the green coins. Those are going to be your strongest coins. Those are going to be ones that are the stronger setups. Okay, so Doc, they lost your test net early, but you got their main net still September 30th. This is a, again, it's high risk right now to get in, open into these altcoin positions. You want to let Bitcoin settle down, but Doc, uh, potentially you're looking to buy the breakout of this level. There's a lot of upside ahead based on the idea of the news, and this is a strong technical pattern for Doc. Remember, we were buying Doc in the group down here at about 50 Satoshis, right here, right here, okay? So we're up about 400%. This is Ardor, and it's had to pull back here, but again, this is a coin where there's a ton of news, and you're looking for a bounce at a support level, but again, high risk right now. You don't wanna catch falling knives, don't want to catch falling knives with Bitcoin. Bitcoin's still continuing to the downside. So I wonder if 11,200 is going to hold or if we're going to just go straight shot 10,500. A lot of you guys might be new in crypto and you haven't experienced these Bitcoin drops, but they can be crazy. I mean, you, you see your portfolio disappear in no time. Remember, you got to have a plan in place. You got to have a plan in place. What's going to happen? What am I going to do if this happens? What am I going to do if this happens? You know, are you going to go into tether? Are you going to try to mitigate losses? On a regular daily basis, people contact me and they're like, Chris, I just put, I just, one, one person today said, I just took all my money out of my 401k and I bought crypto with it. And I'm thinking right now, today, when these coin, when the market is super greedy and these coins are due for some type of pullback, I mean, it's completely normal. Bitcoin has had an epic run up. 10,000 Bitcoin longs close. So I talked to you yesterday about how all the institutions, two at two, twice as many institutions were short as were long. And so then you, you find signals like this, 10,000 Bitcoin longs close. What do they know? What do they know? Yeah, they don't want to get wrecked by, they would have been getting destroyed, a liquidation city. Bitcoin price lost $1,200 in a week. Now more than that is 10,500 coming measured move wouldn't be abnormal remember lend a defi project was just two cents in april ave okay it's called but lend is a ticker it's up 35 x epic gains in crypto there's so much upside going forward there's ripple files trademark for mysterious ripple x and ripple impact question is, what is this going to do for XRP? I know the company has filed for nine trademarks this year alone. Great for Ripple, but what does this do for XRP? What has this done for XRP's price? I mean, def XRP hasn't hit this 35X like Lend has. If you guys like the content that I provide on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment below, hit the bell for notifications. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys tomorrow.